Okay. So, I'm getting fatter, right? I mean, this is not the point. I mean, like, you know, not dying. I'm getting fatter. Which is fine because getting fatter basically means that the doctors are, like, less worried about you. You know what I mean? I get a lot less shit. I actually went to the doctor today. And she weighs me backwards. Because, you know, she don't want me obsessive over, like, my weight and everything. Um, and she told me, like, I gained more weight. Which, like, literally makes her fucking face light up like a fucking candlestick. Um, but it's a good thing, right? Because then they just kind of get it off your back and then it also means, like, I'm not literally, like, failing at life. Like, literally living. So I'm glad she feels better, right? And it's good because, like, my family's also, like, you know, not as, like, freaked out. Oops. About my situation. Because, I mean, it's not like you can hide how skinny you are from people. You know what I mean? It's pretty obvious. So, my parents are getting, like, super worried again. So, I get to tell them, like, <clears throat> I went to the doctor, and the doctor weighed me, and she says I'm doing so much better. Anyway. I just think it's funny how these little things, like, make them feel so much better about you. It doesn't change who you are inside, you know what I mean? It doesn't change the situation. It just makes people feel better. I'm literally coming to that conclusion. Like, these numbers that go up, the only purpose they serve is to make everybody feel better. Like, oh my gosh, she's not in crisis anymore. You know what I mean? Like, meanwhile, back at the ranch, like, we all still feel the same way that we've been feeling before. Like, you started gaining weight. I don't know. Anyways, it's funny. But... For reals, you guys, like, I've been feeling like a fucking veal chop. Do you guys know what a veal chop is? Like, I mean, I don't really, I didn't Google this or whatever, but I remember watching some TV show where they were talking about veal, like, how you make veal. And, like, literally, it is the most, like, inhumane process ever because, basically, like, they take, like, an animal, like, from birth, right? And then they basically immobilize it for its entire life. So... Like, basically, like, they put the animal, like, in this headlock, right? They make their, they, like, basically lock up their head, and the animal's made to, like, lie down, right? And they're not allowed to move. Like, they can't move. So, they basically get fed by the farmers and stuff like that, like, every day. Um, and they just get, like, kind of fat. And the, the whole point of all of this, by the way, is not to gross you out. Maybe it is. Um, but it's to basically make the muscles so soft because they're not using them, right? Because they're lying down their whole life that like when you basically butcher the animal, like I guess the meat is like melt in your mouth or whatever, right? That's veal. God, if this is like literally wrong, I'm going to Google this later, but like if this is literally wrong, don't blame me, but there's some kind of meat that actually like goes through that process, right? And it's supposed to be like amazing, right? when you eat it and that's why it's super expensive but like all of this just to tell you that's what I feel like like I'm basically like trying to get fat as fast as possible and I know that kind of seems weird you know what I mean but like yo for me it's kind of like I don't want people to get off my back and I want to like you know, like, I want my vitals to be better so that I'm not going to be literally killing over and dying. And I want that process to happen as soon as possible because then I can just go back to, like, what I was doing before, which works for me, right? You guys know what I'm getting at, right? 
but I don't have no problems with like making this process as quickly as possible and like maybe that's what experience has taught me but like you know in the past like when I was I guess in my recovery phase before I try to like draw it out for as long as possible and some of you guys have actually talked to me about this like how do you deal with recovery or whatever like gaining weight and all that stuff and I think like from that last experience of when I went through recovery and like a deep depression I did learn like at the end the less or like the faster it started to happen like the easier it got so like I just stopped giving a shit you know at the end and like when I stopped giving a shit and just let the weight pile on it actually ended up being a lot easier because like I didn't give a shit and I wasn't fighting so hard and then I got better and then people fucking got off my back and then like I stopped binging you know what I mean like not right away but like after I stopped giving a fuck like I just stopped because I was really girls God bless the fact that I cannot throw up because if I ever became like a bulimic, like I would not like don't stop, won't stop. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to stop because I like, I just couldn't imagine like if I was able to like throw up because I, I taught, I think I told you guys that like I can't throw up. Like it's not a thing I can do physically cannot do this. Um, but if I was able to do it and I could still lose weight by like eating and throwing up, oh my God, I'm like it would be like unleash the fucking dragon. You know what I'm saying? Like no holds barred. I would fucking be like ravaging that like grocery aisles if I could do that, but I couldn't and I could only binge. Right. And so it just like, it, it sent me to this huge depression or whatever, but like, yeah. So anyways, like this time around, I kind of just like decided, yo man, like I just can't give a shit because the more I don't give a shit, the easier this whole thing is going to be. And I'm not, clearly like in a depressed state right now um I'm just kind of like I don't care you know and I that's very freeing I don't know I don't know if this is helpful or whatever but it's like my experience like I'm just eating more stuff you know what I mean like whatever it's just food I'm trying to enjoy this whole process because like I mean what the fuck is the point like I get to eat peanut butter right now and yo there's a reason that I don't eat this normally because I'm literally every night like going through tablespoons of this shit because it's so fucking good right literally a dicto um but whatever right it is it's just all a means to an end like I'm just gonna get fat and then like once I get you know veal choppy um I've reached max veal like, then people will, like, just, I won't have to go to the doctor, you know, like, everybody's going to be super happy, and then I get to kind of go back to what I was doing before, you know what I mean? Anyways, like, I, you guys, like, I seriously just feel like I'm being bottle-fed every night because all I do is fucking stuff my face, right? Which I think, like, most people would be like, hallelujah, it's like fucking Thanksgiving every day, but, like, It's not, I mean, it makes you feel super sleepy, and I just literally feel like I'm on bed rest all the time and just eating and stuff like that. I don't know. The whole thing to me is, like, fucking hilarious, and, like, it came to me, like, yesterday that I'm a veal chop. That's what I am. Um, So, in any case, like, but the thing about eating a lot more is that, like, I have a lot of different other foods that I'm eating now, right? Not just, like, fucking iceberg lettuce. Um, which by the way, I still crave and I literally want to keep eating that, um, versus all the other horse shit that I'm eating, right? Which is like cauliflower and broccoli and whatever the fuck, right? Green beans and corn, which, because I kept eating, because I was eating like so clean, corn, peas, carrots, all that shit is fucking sweet as fuck. And you know, I told you guys, I don't have a sweet tooth. And I, now I really don't have a sweet tooth because I'm like, like, this shit is, like, literally, to me, like, candy. Like, this is, like, fucking the Jolly Green Giants, like, Halloween bag. You know what I'm saying? A fucking